the extensions came from Amazon and they're going to be fine. They are 19 inches instead of 18 inches like the thing said, but that's okay. That's still five inches shorter. And you can see I've got it connected out here in the wing. It's coming across almost like it will come into the uh, platform and it's right here for plugging into the flight controller. Even if it was five inches more, that would just be lots of extra stuff. So I'm going to go with those on each side. Now, one person talked to me about not putting this connector inside the wing here where it'll be glued and won't be movable to back this up to like here and fold this wire up in that slot uh, if I do that uh, looks like I might have to use the other five inches to get to the flight controller plus having that wire moving back and forth underneath this panel after it's glued down I don't see any benefit to that uh, if I'm going to have to change the servo ever, uh, I, I would just go ahead probably and just solder, cut the new servo out in this area where it's viewable, easy to get to, and just solder the three wires together out there. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not... I'm not too worried about that connector being underneath that thing and that uh, servo lead just not being movable. If it was one piece, I would like that best. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. Now, this whole thing is kind of a pain in the posterior because to close that up, I'm going to have to put the this connector in the groove that's underneath this tape at this moment that it's not very deep so I have to get this wire oops in this groove after the glue's all applied to this and close it up I think probably if the groove was in this part of the wing like it is here that this wire could be put in that groove here inside the wing and then this piece be put on top of it much more easily than if you have to put the wire in the groove that's in this piece but I can't control that I do believe that's the way I'm going to do it though. Just close it up like that and not worry about that connector. Do not use this Weldwood contact cement on this foam. It melts it. I got started closing this up and oh my goodness gracious. The putting the wire in the slot's a bigger problem than I ever thought, especially with the contact cement trying to do it in a quick motion. The problem is, is as you can see here, it melted the plastic, the foam underneath so much that I'm going to have to go around it with some you who pour. And you can see here where some of the glue got on the outside and it literally started melting this foam. So I'm going to have to go around this to strengthen this up, even back here, and uh, do something different on the other side. That was absolutely insane. Oh well. I did put the spars in, the spars 
go in fine. Uh, I'll have to see how strong I think it is after I put the yoo hoo pour on it. I guess that's what I'll do. I might use epoxy. A little bit of a bummer there, but... And I just put the wire through there. I don't care where that wire's through there, whether or not it slides back and forth in it. It's just... That's just a mess. Anyway... There's that half closed up. Not very well, but it is closed up. It will work. Well, I, like I say, put the yoo hoo pour around the edge of everything here. And I'm kind of shocked at what it did. It kind of firmed it up. And I feel very much more confident in it now than I did before. So we're gonna continue along here. I'm doing uh, the control horn right now. Getting ready to do the linkage on the wing. Uh, like I said, I didn't put the control horn on the servo before I put it down in there and I'm gonna to have to cut or what I'm thinking about doing is melting a hole. It may be a little better than cutting it. Kind of like melt the edges as it try to make a place where I can get a screwdriver in from an angle, which I've done on a lot of these airplanes, just because that's the way it has to go. Well, there's what I did with the side of a hot knife. It did kind of crust it up. And it's at an angle going down to where I can get to that screw. Just took a few seconds. And it is what I wanted. <laughs> Probably should have put the control horn on the servo before you put it in there, dummy. Well, there that is. I'm going to have to take the screw back out real quick and... Uh, put some Loctite on it. It's real easy to do. There's the neutral position. Boy, it sure has a lot of throw on it. Wow. Okay, like I say, Loctite that screw and move on to the next step. And that's that. I use blue Loctite on it. Oops. Looks like I used a little bit too much blue Loctite on it. Let's see if I can get some of that back off there. Well, before it dries. <laughs> Just needs to be the threads. There we go. That got quite a bit of it. Used blue Loctite on it. So, that's done. Well, they do send the control horn hardware for the uh, aileron. It's just a plastic control horn. It's got pre-drilled holes for it. I'm just going to put it in there with some you who pour and use that one. But I'm not going to use the linkages between the two that comes with them. I'm going to use my ball joint ended linkages with some threaded rod between these it's just real easy of course the ones they did send they're real easy too they're just rods and you tighten down these on the end of them so eh, i think i'm still going to prefer my ones i do over this and they sent eight screws, uh, two horns, and two of these capture ends, cap end caps for the push rods. And they sent the push rods. So eight screws. There's four, two in each end of the wing, and four for motor mount. That seems to be what these screws are for. 
the ends of the wings have holes drilled for the wing that's to be screwed on. We'll be looking at that soon. But let me get this going here. And this is the push rod setup they sent. Two little pre-bent. They say use the second hull here, I think. And then you see the other end would have to be clipped. But if I did use the hardware that they sent, this piece right here would go on there really quick. And like I said, I have to cut the excess. I still haven't glued this on, so we'll do that. This can be a little bit easier than my ball in, as I'll show you when I get the ball ends out. Yeah, bummer. The screw they sent with this part that goes through the control horn and also captures the rod. This one duh, is too big for the holes in the control horns. So I'm gonna have to drill these control horns, including that one. Fun time, huh? And there's their method for control linkages. I need to cut this off, I haven't. Uh, put any Loctite on this screw yet. I have that one and I haven't actually glued this down yet. I think I may fly with that. I did nip the tips off the end of these two with a pair of diagonal cutters just because they stuck all the way through the aileron and just barely came out the other side just enough to for your fingers to feel them. Somebody might accidentally touch them with the airplane and think they were getting hurt and jerk and break something. So I just nipped them off there. Now I'm gonna glue this in with some Yoohoo pour. Well, I'm gonna let that glue dry. Got some excess up on top, oh well. And then I will lock tight this. It's screwed down, but I need to lock tight it and then cut this rod off right back here after I lock tight it. And I think I'll go with that. That glue needs to dry for 24 hours. So the only thing that's left on the, this wing, besides what I just described, is the wing joiner that gets glued on this side and the little winglets out here that go on the end of the wings. Coming along well. And I'm gonna break this video right here and continue in a, another video. It's about 2 p.m. Friday. I'm gonna let that yuhu pour on the aileron dry overnight. So I won't be doing much more to this today so tomorrow's Saturday, we do have the Steve Martin, Martin Short comedy stage show tomorrow night. I'm not sure how much I'll get done tomorrow, but then I do have all day Sunday before we leave for the beach on Monday morning about 10 o'clock or so. All right, we'll see what I get done between now and then. As always, thank you.